Welcome and thanks for joining me today as we take a look at the HomeKit compatible Logitech Circle Wire 2 indoor outdoor camera. So in the last video we took a look at the D-Link Omna 180 Cam HD and today we'll be taking a look at another HomeKit compatible camera and that's the Logitech Circle 2 Wired. And the wired version of the Circle 2 is the only version that's compatible with HomeKit. So you want to keep that in mind if you plan on purchasing a Circle 2 is to get the wired one. So same as last video, we'll go ahead and unbox this, run through the quick HomeKit setup, and have a short demo of the camera and its functions. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and take a look at this Logitech Circle 2. Um, the indoor outdoor security cam and it is the wired version. The wired version is the only version that has the works with Apple HomeKit badge and it, right now it is the only version of the Circle 2 that is compatible with Apple HomeKit and is HomeKit certified. So if we look at the back of the box it says easy setup in minutes, advanced motion filtering, smart time lapse a day brief, talk and listen, so the camera has a built-in speaker and microphone so you can communicate um, with whoever or whatever may be on the other side of the lens. It has full HD video, 1080p, and night vision with 180 degree lens, 180 degree lens. So there's a 180 degree field of view. Pretty wide field of view. Um, so if you have a wide area you wanna cover, this would be the camera to get for that. Um, there's an app available in the App Store uh, for those of you on Android, Google Play Store, and the web app at circle.logi.com. And the one thing that's great about this Circle 2 is it's pretty versatile. So there is a plug mount where you can put the camera into a mount that has a, a plug and you can plug it straight into the outlet. If you have an outlet that's um, higher up, maybe you can uh, monitor a lot of the area around it, surrounding area. And it also has a window mount, um, so you can place the window mount on a window, um, I believe it's adhesive, and then put the camera in there and you can monitor anything that's outside the window. And there are different accessories um, that you can buy for this camera, different mounts. So that's the Logitech Circle 2. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside the box. Let's start with number one. This says it has the wired camera inside, so let's go take a look at that. And there it is, the Logitech Circle 2. Pull the film off. See if there's anything else in here. Nope. Good. Set the camera back in there. Set that aside. And let's take a look at what's in box number two. Circle two. Got this quick start guide. Um, some literature shows some mounting options, I believe. And in the quick start guide is the Apple HomeKit code right there. And this is the mount with the wire, USB. I believe the wire that comes with this is 10 feet long. Um, the place I'm going to put it is probably 10 feet, is further than 10 feet. Um, away from an outlet that I have outdoors, so I'll probably be using the extension, which is another um, Logitech accessory you can buy, uh, this weatherproof extension. I have one of those, so I'll be using that. And 
here we have the power adapter. And the actual plug. So this is the plug for North American users. So we just slide that in here, it looks like. And then it's just a regular USB plug there. And mounting hardware. So this is what you use to mount it to a surface. And that's what comes in the box. So as with the Omna 180 HD cam, let's go ahead and run through the setup before I actually install this or mount this outside and get it going with the home app. Should be simple. So I'll go ahead and plug this into a nearby outlet. We'll go ahead and add the camera. So let's go ahead and put this together. It looks like you will line up the two lines and, and you twist it. And there it is. And the light comes on. And the blue light, I believe, means it's ready to be paired. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna point it outside the window so let's go ahead and grab my phone and pair the camera up with the home app. We'll choose add accessory and find the home kit code. And there it is the Logi circle. Add accessory to network, we'll click allow and it says connecting. It says accessory added. And there it is, the Logi Circle. And right now it says default room. I am going to put it outside because this one's going outside and I will include it in favorites. Um, I will leave it named Logi Circle for now. We'll click next. Um, there is a motion detector for the camera and I'm gonna go ahead and include that in favorites and it is also outside and I'll click done. So if we scroll down, there is the Logi Circle there, and if you force press, you'll get a live view. If you press it further, you'll get a full live view of the video outside the window where it's placed. You could hear a little bit of echo. Some feedback coming in. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and mount this in the area where I need it, and we'll take a closer look at the Logitech Circle 2. So I had planned to show you install, but something went wrong with the camera, but I'm gonna run it down. So I eyeballed about center on this post. I took a laser level. If you don't have one of these things, these things are very useful. And I just made sure there was a level line and then I drew a line. Then I used the mounting brace and I used the holes here to mark out where the holes were gonna go for the mount and I actually drilled two pilot holes with a 3 32nd um, drill bit. Then I screwed the mounting brace on there with the provided screws. Now these screws were a little soft and I ended up stripping one, so be mindful of that. So I ran the wire up along the beam of the balcony. It's about 10 feet of wire, so I needed it longer, so I had to use this Logitech outdoor extension wire to extend it then ran it further along the balcony on the side then up the balcony here and up along the wall and then i installed this outdoor outlet cover and plugged it into the outlet on the balcony and that was it job done so let's go ahead and take a look at the area that the circle two covers it should cover this side yard pretty well as i walk down kind of the path and if we look up there is the Logitech Circle 2 wired and I wanted to also cover this back patio area um, we have a sliding door here leading to the backyard from the kitchen and you should be able to see me as far as here with that wide 180 angle degree view 
And then it should also catch me walking around the perimeter of the patio area. And the camera's up there. And right now I am standing right below it. You should be able to see me there. And then again, back along the side yard area here. And up to this back gate. So I also got a camera for the front of the house. And this is the front security camera. And it gives us a pretty wide angle view with the 180 degree field of view. Here is us leaving the garage. And what I like, if you look at the very lower left of the frame, you can see our garage closing. Now, we already have a MyQ garage door opener um, with HomeKit that lets us know if the garage is open or closed, but it's nice to have a camera um, where we can actually view the garage closing. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the Circle 2 cameras look like under the Home app. So if we go into the Home app under HomeKit, we see our cameras on the favorite cameras. I have them all listed as favorites. We have the Omni 180 Cam HD. So you can see it's pretty responsive and the live view comes up. And here is the front security camera, the Circle 2. Takes a little longer. Comes up, clear the picture clears, and we can view that. And the backyard camera. If we go under details, um, here we can rename the camera. Right now I have it named as backyard camera. Um, pick which room it's in, I have it outside. And it also shows the manufacturer app and we can go ahead and open that from here. But I won't do that just yet. So we click done. And the other thing, while you're in the home app, if you just wanted to see a quick live view of these cameras, you can just kind of press and hold and a live view will pop up. Then if you want the full, you can further press it and then get the, the full picture. So we're gonna click done there. Let's go ahead and take a look at um, rooms and the outside room. And take a look at, we have the sensors for the camera. So right here we have um, the front sensor and the back sensor. And on the backyard sensor, let's go ahead and click details. And here we can set up um, notifications. And right now I have the camera to allow notifications at any time. And people is set to off so that whenever people are home or not. So if we go back and if we go back, it's cool is you can use those sensors to set up automations. And here's one I have here. And right here I have um, the outside backyard motion detector when it detects motion only at night and whether people are present or not. I have it turn on the back door light. And this is a, a light that we have right next to the sliding door. So at night, if the motion detector on the camera detects motion that light will come on and it will stay on for 15 minutes and it'll turn off after 15 minutes and you can set this to whatever time you want so that's an automation I have for that and let's go ahead and take a look at the Logi Circle native app since the format of the app for the native Logi Circle app is Landscape, we're going to go ahead and switch to the iPad to take a look at it. So let's go ahead and open the Logi Circle app. And in the initial view, you, we can view both cameras. And the one on the left is the backyard camera. Take a look at that. That is now a live view of the camera. And then the get to the other camera we click on the top and this is the view of the front from here we can also um, scroll through the different times when it the camera detected motion so that was at 633 
and we can scroll through the day for the most part. And if you're anywhere in the middle of the day and you just want to go to live view, you can click live at the bottom and it'll return you quickly to the live view. So this is also where we can set up um, some of the features for the camera. If we click the menu in the upper left, it'll bring up some options we have. So from the menu, we can turn the camera on and off. Um, we can enable the privacy mode where Circle continues streaming but does not record any footage or send alerts. We can also turn smart alerts on and off. Pick the camera mount that we have. We have the wired, but you also have options to choose window and plug mounts. And then under more settings, again, we can turn the camera on and off. Also privacy mode, smart alerts and the camera mount, but we can also choose the field of view, which I have set at 180 and we can go ultra wide. Let's see what that looks like. So that'll be the, a bit of a crop under ultra wide. Then we have wide, um, but I like the widest view possible. So I always pick 180 field of view. And then we here we can choose resolution as well. I have it right now set at 1080p. Um, night vision auto. You can turn it off. Or if you have a window mount, you choose window. You have microphone. So this is the level of the microphone off, mid or high. Right now I have it set to high. Um, the speaker on and off on the camera. The LED on and off. Um, here we can update firmware. If there's a firmware update, this is where we will update the firmware. I have the latest version. Wi-Fi network, the Wi-Fi network it's um, connected to. Time zone, camera name, and you can remove the camera from the app if you want to. Um, if we go back to the menu, you can add a camera, um, manage your account, smart home integration, so you can choose which smart home integrations you have apple home kit home kit at the top logitech pop smart button um, voice integrations of alexa and google assistant right now i have both cameras paired to apple home kit and there's a button at the bottom to launch the apple home app let's go back we have the circle safe so this is the um the subscription service and you can log out of your account. And then you have other options for product details, help or legal. And here's a filter for, you can see all activity. If you look on the right, high activity, it'll just show you those events where there was a degree of high activity and then you can skip through days. Um, I don't have any of the subscription accounts for the circle safe. So if I did, th this would show me multiple days right now, since I don't have a subscription, it defaults to the free option, which just gives you 24 hours of recordings. I did have a trial, but I've since let it lapse. Um, I just feel the cost was a little high for what was being offered. And I felt some things like um, setting up act, um, motion zones. I, I really feel those should be free. Um, I do have a bit of footage showing how to set that up. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So now that we're on the desktop at circle.logi.com, um, we can take a look at the cameras here. And as you can see, it's the same interface as the native um, Logi Circle app on our iOS device. And if you look, we all have the same options. Mute, unmute, we can take a photo or make full screen. But let's go up to the menu in the upper left. And again, just like the native app, you can turn the camera on and off privacy mode, but we're going to look at the zone editor. So to set up zones, we can click add zone and simply move the dots to where you want to outline the zone you want to add. So I'm going to look and I'm going to try and align these dots as closely as I can to what I think I remember our property line to be. So 
So I'm gonna go click save. I'll name the zone front yard. And we'll save. And there you have it. If we go back up to the menu, um, all this is available through the circle safe plans and the premium plan has 31 days of cloud storage let's go take a look at the subscriptions and the pricing so basic has 14 days um, premium has 31 days and here are the prices below premium has 31 days and it includes all the free features plus the custom day brief, person detection, and motion zone. So you have to pay extra for the motion zones and you have to pay the premium price, which is $9.99 a month for one camera. So one of the things I wanted to show you was under HomeKit while remote. And if you look in the upper right, you see I have LTE enabled. And we look at the Omni and it loads pretty quickly. We look at the front camera and there's no response. Look at the backyard camera and no response there as well. Now let's go ahead and switch to the Logi Circle app. We take a look at the backyard camera. Takes a while to load, but it loads. And the front security camera is the same. It loads. So they both work so I have this great app for HomeKit cameras called HomeCam by Aaron Pierce. And I'll try and cover this app more thoroughly in another video, but let's see how the Circle 2s behave under HomeCam. We see that the backyard camera is not loading, but the front security camera does load along with the Omna. So pretty much as HomeKit goes, so do any third party app. If we go back to the Home app, I bet that front security camera now loads and it does and the back camera is probably still inaccessible and yeah it shows no response so those are some of the issues i've had with the logitech circle 2 implementation under HomeKit when remote and on mobile data so that'll about do it for the logitech circle 2 wired indoor outdoor security camera that is enabled with HomeKit. And I'm going to use enabled with HomeKit a little loosely there because I have had some problems with this camera under HomeKit. Um, I think Logitech's implementation is not fully baked yet. Uh, I found this camera to be unreliable under HomeKit, sometimes to be not responsive, show no response, and not be accessible at all. Other times it would. So again, it's not really reliable under HomeKit. And I say under HomeKit because that's what I try to focus on, our devices I use under HomeKit. And it's convenient to have all your cameras under one app, the Home app, so you can check them really quickly. Or if you use the great HomeCam app, you can check them under there. But this camera is fine if you use the native Logi Circle app. I haven't had a problems, be it locally or remote accessing the cameras. The video always came up and the feed always came up and you could access the recordings um, from the native app. So if you just want a security camera that works under iOS device, under your iOS device, there are a bunch out there. You have a lot of choice and you have a lot to choose from. Um, this is one of them, one of many. Now, if you want a camera and you want to get that security camera because it works under HomeKit, and you want it outdoors, this is pretty much the only game in town right now. And again, their HomeKit implementation is really kind of shaky right now. So for those of you watching who have the Logitech Circle 2, what's been your experience? What's been your experience under HomeKit? Um, I looked on YouTube for a few videos that specifically uh, touched on the topic of the Circle 2 under HomeKit specifically, and none of the videos that I watched um, address the issue that I was having under HomeKit where the cameras would show up as not responsive. So if you have these cameras and use them under HomeKit and they've been rock solid for you, I'd like to hear what you have to say. Please leave a comment. If you had the same experience that I had 
where the home kit implementation was shaky and they showed up non-responsive more often than not or even occasionally for you i want to hear that in the comments too because maybe it's just me um, i don't think it is because i kind of snuck a look at logitech circles form and it looked like a few other people were having the same problems i was having so please let me know in the comments what your experiences have been under HomeKit with the Logitech Circle 2. And with that, that's gonna do it for this video. A little longer again, I apologize for the length. If you stuck through this far, thank you for watching. Um, if you liked the video and found anything um, informational for you, please hit the like button. And if this is your first time here or you haven't yet subscribed, please, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out and really helps the channel out. And I appreciate all of my subscribers out there watching. So that's gonna do it, guys. Until the next time, please take care and be safe. <laughs>